Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 11 and in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about functions with multiple parameters. So in the last video I explained that we could include a parameter in the parentheses of our function and when we did this it was basically the same as declaring a new variable and that we were free to use this variable anywhere within our function. However, what I didn't tell you is that we can have multiple parameters inside of the parentheses of our function. So let's go ahead and delete all of this and then we'll make a function that actually uses more than one parameter. So what I decided to do was we'll make a function that adds two numbers together and then prints out the answer on the screen. So let's go ahead and just make that function. So function and I will call it add numbers. Okay. And then I'll put in my parentheses and my curly braces. Uh, you guys kind of get the point by now. And what we can do is uh, before we worry about anything in here let's talk about multiple parameters. So the way we give multiple parameters or use multiple parameters in our function is we type the name of our first parameter which I'm going to call num1 for number one and then I separate my different parameters with a comma. So after num1 I can type num2 for number two and uh, those will be my two numbers that I add together. So what we can do now is actually just start working on the code that adds these two numbers together. So what I can do is uh, we can make a third variable which I'll declare with my var keyword. So I'll go var answer is equal to num1 plus num2. Okay, so basically the variable answer is now holding the value of these two numbers added together. So what I can do is uh, just go ahead and print that out on the screen. So document dot write and inside of our brackets over here, inside our parentheses, we just write the variable answer. But what I want to do is concatenate a break onto the end. So go ahead and just put in our break tag, HTML tag. And what this is going to do is it's just going to mean that if we call this function three or four times, every time this, this uh, function prints out the answer onto the page, it's going to start on a new line. Okay, that's basically all it means. So we go ahead and just end that off with a semicolon. And now what I can do is I can call this function and pass in different values by separating the values with a comma. So let's go ahead and call the function add numbers and inside my parentheses I can assign num1 the value of 2 and then separate this with a comma and assign num2 the value of 4. So when I go ahead and end this off with a semicolon and save, you can see when I run this in Firefox, the answer will be printed out on the screen, which is six. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And just like the previous tutorial, we can use this function as many times as we want and get a different answer printed out on the screen, depending on what value we pass to our variables. So let's go ahead and call this function a few more times. So go ahead and control C. And uh, what we can do now is uh, we can pass the value of like 15 and 3. And we can pass the value of 12 and uh, 24. And we should get all of these answers printed out on the screen on a new line. So if I go back to Firefox and I click refresh, you can see we now have 
6, 18, and 36, which is basically all of those numbers added together. Okay. So let's go back and recap for a second. So I'll just go ahead and minimize this. And what we did here was we created a function that used more than one parameter. And the way we separate our parameters is just by separating them with a comma so that JavaScript knows, okay, this is parameter one, that's parameter two. And if I had a third one, then that would be uh, the third parameter over there. And if I wanted to uh, pass three values, then I'd also just separate the three values all with commas as well. Okay, so that's basically how to use multiple parameters with a function. And that's actually all I have for you guys in this video. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, then it would mean a lot to me if you guys could click that like button or just let me know in a comment below that I was helpful and then uh, I'll be happy. So thanks guys and I will see you guys next time.